So if you just unlocked your vivarium or you've had it unlocked and you're not quite sure how to decorate it, I know it can be extremely intimidating trying to decorate this space because it is completely empty. I had a couple people express in the comments section of my tour video that they kind of wanted to know how I went about designing this vivarium. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys just showing some tips and tricks and things that I like to follow when I design. So I try to make all of these tips and tricks universal so that whether you're on PC or you're playing on console and you don't have access to mods, these tips should be easy to follow. So right now, one thing that I like to do is place paths first. This kind of helps give me an idea of where I want everything, if that makes sense. Like if I make the path first, then I can kind of build around it. One thing I found that really helped make my vivarium feel a lot more alive is putting trees and plants to kind of frame certain areas. And then for these building objects, I kind of just went through all of the pieces because honestly, at first I had absolutely no idea what to do with any of them. So I kind of just went through them and put them around parts of the vivarium just to see where I liked them and what they looked like. One thing I like to do is after I place a certain amount of items, I like to just kind of go through and walk through and make sure that I like where everything is placed. Another tip that helped me is framing areas with fencing. So kind of similar to the paths, once you place it, you can kind of start building around it or inside of it. And then it gives you a little bit better of an idea of where maybe you want things or I found that when I was building this vivarium, after I placed so many things down, it actually would give me more ideas. For this part, I thought that this space underneath this area, I don't know what you want to call it, but where I put these knights, um, I felt that the space was blank. So I just kind of put those there. I went through all the decorations and doing that and similar with the building pieces, placing them wherever just to see where you like them is what I found is really helpful. Now I knew I wanted to use this cottage somewhere. So one thing that I like to do because I build a lot in Sims is I will look up reference pictures. So I like to do this on Pinterest. So I went on Pinterest and I typed in cottage and I found these pictures and it gave me some ideas so I started building around this and another thing that I like to do is I put these pillars at the end of the fencing or like an entrance just because it makes it look in my opinion a little bit more grand a little bit more put together for this fountain I placed this right in the center if you watched my tour video or if you're going to watch it you'll notice that a lot of my areas have these sort of center pieces so in this spot I put this fountain because I felt like it would help kind of bring the space together a little bit more. I really like using these stone tiles. I put this in front of the cottage because I felt like it added a little bit more character to the space other than just having the regular stone path. Then I found these plates. This one is a square stone plate and then there is a round stone plate. Now you'll notice I have some trees in the background here and if we look back at these pictures I showed you guys earlier, in all of these photos there's a ton of trees and plants just kind of surrounding these cottages and this was the vibe that I was going for and you don't necessarily have to decorate it this way either. I just did it based off of the reference pictures that I found so whether it has trees behind it or not that's fine. I just feel like in my opinion it adds a little bit more life to the area. I'm placing these workstations down one to take up some space and two so that I can use them whenever I'm in my vivarium. Now I'm going in and putting some plants around the fencing to get rid of those awkward lines you see where each fence is placed together. I found that in these sort of awkward spaces where you don't really know what to do anything with, sometimes just putting plants and bushes and trees is the best option. That's what I did a lot in my build when I was designing because I didn't want to reuse the same objects over and over. So I filled a lot of the space with plants and trees and you can see I put these pumpkins in that I really love. I love pumpkins so I wanted to put these in here and also this vivarium gives me a very like fall kind of vibe you know so I thought the pumpkins would look great in here okay so now moving on to the part of my vivarium that was a little bit more complex than what we've covered so far like I said earlier when I'm using these building pieces I just kind of place them wherever to see what I like and for this section right here I knew I wanted some sort of like castle looking thing. I wasn't quite sure what I really even wanted. I just figured, you know what, let's let's place some things down and 
let's just see what works, right? So I put these two towers right behind this little archway, this entrance right here. Then I added some stairs to the entrance. I knew that I wanted some part of this section to be elevated because there's some different pieces that you can walk on. Then to make the area look a little bit more complete and take out that weird space on the side here, I added these corners. So it would look like you're walking into the entrance of, you know, a small castle or something from Skyrim. I'm not really sure. That's kind of what I was going for. Then I placed these pillars on the side right here so that I could get rid of these harsh lines on the side. And also I felt that it made it look more like it was a building instead of just pieces kind of thrown everywhere. Now you can see me adding in these little platforms or low raised floors, whatever, whatever you want to call them. But I added these and then I ended up putting stairs on the other side so that you could go up and down either side. And yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I really hope I gave you guys some ideas or inspiration and I really hope it was easy to follow as well. I tried to explain everything and show you guys everything that I could and just kind of my process of how I place my items and you know where I maybe get my references from and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.